are very interesting conference in which uh, you have brought the entire steel ecosystem players onto one platform and i think uh, cross exchange of uh, views insights uh, both among the participants and the industry experts and players would be very interesting and today also uh, i also got to learn something so i'm i'm sure it's going to be interesting one for all the participants of the uh, uh, conference now such an expert from the steel industry saying that is quite a lot <laughs> Please you. go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I guess uh, India is still the sweetest spot on the global steel industry, uh, but but there's a but. A lot of the demand is going away uh, in the form of imports, and uh, India became a net importer in Q1 and Q2. Data shows that imports are going to be still very robust. So, what are uh, anti-dumping measures are being mulled from India? But what are your thoughts on this, and how will imports pan out for the rest of the year, fiscal year? Do you think? So, uh, I'm no longer looking after that. Uh, so. maybe uh, i can only speak uh, from whatever experience i have uh, the issue of imports is uh, not across the board for example if you take longs it's not a major issue if you take flats it's certainly a issue and uh, the slump in the chinese market uh, has really shaken the market shaken the market and uh, while the production uh, of the steel players may not be impacted as much but the price realizations are certainly going to be affected and that would cut into the profitability of the steel makers so i think to the extent it's the uh, im imports currently happening are unfair uh, and there is a dumping going on indian government should certainly respond to them in time frames so that uh, make the uh, uh, platform more even as compared to what it is now because the uh, duty prayers for uh, imposition of the duty are uh, uh, are being considered at a longer time frame of about a year and a half that is not going to help the industry or at least give them a fair hearing so a slew of anti dumping measures are being uh, mulled across various economies like the eu vietnam turkey and now malaysia so how will that be impacting india's uh, hrc uh, exports in the long term very simple to understand uh, if chinese players don't get to export to those markets uh, or to the extent that they are doing now so there would be more pressure on the chinese mill to export to indian market which is still open and therefore the volumes are going to grow until unless indian government also responds in quick time and and uh, looking at the rest of the fiscal how how do you feel uh, steel prices would pan out because they have already hit one year lows some of them have hit one year lows some other items have hit uh, three and a half three year lows so what are your thoughts on that it will depend on uh, how the steel prices behave inter uh, on an international platform because our prices because of the open trade regime are determined by the international prices and i don't see it going up uh, very uh, uh, quickly uh, in in uh, immediate foreseeable future thank you sir thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos